Coming up on 724 on your Wednesday morning, we're getting back to the roots of America's pastime. Pam Fontana is live as the Ohio Muffins get ready for the Ohio Cup Vintage Baseball Festival this weekend. Hey, Cam. Oh. <laughs> Kurt, it is a beautiful morning for baseball. Again, two words, because that's how it started. Tell us a little bit about the history. We have Aaron here. So, Aaron, for start with the uniforms, there's a lot of history with why we're wearing this. Sure. So, the uniforms are based on parts that the players would have had from their occupation. So for instance, an early team worked in a shipyard. So <clears throat> they would take the uniform belts uh, for their They're work. They're backwards. The buckles They're backwards. in the back. Correct. That's what took me 10 minutes to put on a belt this morning. <laughs> and then you turn to the right, you got the name. Right. And even right here, firefighters, there's some history there, right? Sure. So early volunteer firefighters would wear these shields on their shirts because when they're fighting fires, you would get cinders on your shirt and it's easier to replace the shield than buy a new shirt. That is awesome. So let's talk about the time frame. So right here, where are we stepping back in time? How far? Sure. So we played by the rules of 1860. Um, uh, are they written down somewhere in a book? They were, <laughs> they were, they started to be published in the, in the late 1850s. Okay. Um, and oh so gosh. the version of the game we're playing is a little different from the modern game. Okay. Um, so one difference is, of course, that nobody's wearing gloves, that kind of protective equipment. Wow. And I'll tell you what, throwing with like Don, who's up to bat right now, they have very strong hands. So you got to build your calluses up. Correct. And this is really neat. We're going to learn the rules all morning long, but this weekend is the Ohio Cup. When is that happening and what is it? So the Ohio Cup is all day Saturday and Sunday from okay. 9 to 5, and we have 30 teams from across the, vintage teams from across the country that come into play. Oh, my gosh. And, and is, what better place in Ohio Village, obviously taking a step back in time. So correct. what time can people come out this weekend? How, when is it going on? So it's Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 5. Okay. Um, we have this field here in the Ohio Village, and then we have three other fields out in front of the Ohio History Center. Nice. So you come out here, and we got a couple teams represented this morning. Obviously, the Ohio Village Muffins. Pitching, I believe, is Mike from the German Village Nine. Correct. And then someone's here from Columbus Buckeyes. Correct. So the, fielding the ball right now. Look at that. Well, Don, if you don't mind, can I get in? Let me see. We're gonna take a lot. We're gonna take a lot of swings this morning. But Mike, I want you. I want you to give me some of that funky cheese, okay? Give me the. Oh, they're switching balls on me. That's the harder ball, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Give me some of that cheese. Here we go. Let's see. Oh! Here we go! We're going for a home run for the first time on Good Day Columbus. You know me, I'm very competitive. Okay, I can't see the back. There it is. Oh, go, 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 Cam, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go. Oh, go, Cam. Oh, no. I'm not going to slide because I'm not going That was amazing. That was amazing. Woo. Good for you, is Cam. Is he still safe? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well played. He's pretty fast. He's, you know, he's done this for a lot of years. That so is true. He's, he's got a lot of practice some skills in. now. Oh, it's good. We needed that this morning. Oh, we did. My heart's racing for him. All right, <laughs> 727 out.